Good evening, good evening, good evening, Facebook Live. Joe coming to you live here from Cobbs Creek, Virginia. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Got up bright and early this morning, called Dad. Wished him a happy Father's Day. Had a great conversation with him. So happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. All you moms pulling double duty. What the heck's going on down there? It sounds like they're working on the roads out there. Or a bomb was going off, one or two, or somebody was getting shot. A lot of gunshots around here in Virginia. If you guys don't know much about Virginia, everybody down here has their pieces on them, so to speak. And a lot of my good friends over at the American Legion, they carry down here. So you don't see here a lot of problems down here with people having incidences with uh, their issues so to speak, Texas. I remember I was in Texas back in the military. Back in the 80s, you drive, drive around with shotguns in the back of their windows. So those guys didn't have any issues with people having any problems out there. Hello, Sri. So proud of you, Sri. I've been watching your posts. I've been feeling your growth. I've been seeing your intellect coming forward. Super powerful. Super, super powerful. I love I loved your insights. I can see a lot of people are getting a lot of great content from you, Sri. So thank you for that. Thank you for being part of this Rises One group and mastering the tides and all these great groups we belong to because we like we talked about yesterday proximity is the power you get around people they're gonna lift you higher so one of those people are our fathers so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there I had a great conversation with my dad this morning all you guys out there that have been pulling double duty I mean it's not easy I, I understand fatherhood motherhood are some of the hardest jobs you're ever gonna get in the world I, I watched the struggles but I also watched the gift as people grow spiritually because you have to show up every single day as a parent there are no days off the baby wants the diapers changed the baby wants to be fed as my good friend Kari Clemens when you watch this Kari just had a beautiful little girl I remember Nikki when she first had her baby she's like oh I love my sleep but I don't get my sleep anymore but that is the reality the same exact thing in life we have to show up every day and grow the soul wants to grow the mind wants to take it easy many times, but the soul wants to expand. So keep expanding out there, all your fathers. Keep expanding all your mothers out there. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you all you did for our, our, our kids growing up. Us kids, we had four kids growing up, and Dad went out there. He mortgaged the house, and I watched him work hard all the time. That's one of the reasons why I continue to push the envelope, because of my dad. As I was reading some of the posts today, our first hero for the son. And it's our first love as a daughter for many of us. And if that wasn't you, no, they did the best they could with what they knew. Nobody's perfect in this world, especially moms and dads of the world. They figure that stuff out as you go. But the reality is everything that we have is within inside of us. We already know what to do. We just have to unlock that. And that's why that is one of the hardest jobs in the world is to be a dad, to be a mom. So happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Hope you had a blessed and fantastic day. Barbecues. I saw one guy at the beach today. Me and Kathy went down to the beach. We go out there. He's got the whole beach all by himself. And, he, and she's there with him, just the two, husband and wife, two of them on the beach. I'm like, man, you guys got the whole beach to yourself. What a beautiful way to spend Father's Day. He's like, yeah, we normally bring our dogs down here. We had the kids. But you know what? Today was about me. That's exactly what they did. They went out there and celebrated Dad. He had his tropical drink in his hand, the waves of the ocean. They were in there swimming. It was absolutely beautiful. Good to see you logging on there. Who's that one bubble? Like Matt Smith, maybe? Good to see you, Matt. Thank you for all you do, man, for the group and Mastering the Tides. So we were sitting here on Sunday evening, really sitting there this morning, going through all the things that the fathers of the world put up with. Hey, Todd Watts, that's who that is. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Hello, Cheryl. And for those of you that don't have your fathers here anymore, know that they're always with you. And what was I say that the energy just shoots through my body? Because I, I know, Cheryl, that your father was near and dear to you, and I got to, to, to meet you down there at the World War II celebration in Danbury, Connecticut a couple of years back. We got to take that photo with your father, and dads are some of the first loves of our daughters. To know that he is always with you. The body, the physical body may leave this earth, but the spirit is always with you. Good to see you, Matthew. What's up, brother? So as I sit here in the peace and quiet of the backyard, 
honoring the fathers of the world. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Matthew. To all of you out there watching this, this message. Fatherhood is one of the toughest jobs ever, especially when you have little girls and they start growing up. You <laughs> Get away from my father. I'm just down here. These guys are carrying. Get away from my daughter. I said, I'm the father over here. I want to protect my baby. That's one of the things, is, one of the hardest things that we have to do as our daughters get older is to let go. Because we want to protect our little girls. Your first love, their first love. It's one of those things like daddy's little girl. People talk about those things. A lot of you guys have, I know my brother Skip, happy Father's Day. Skip, he's got three little girls. You can imagine what that must be like growing up saying, okay, let me check out all these guys that are coming here dating my daughters. And you put up that little questionnaire for all of them all. They have to line up and say, okay, let me, let me make sure you're okay before you, you have the opportunity to date my daughter. That is the beautiful thing of life, the evolution of it, and how we can grow and how we can learn from each other and all the things that you teach your daughter, teach your sons. They can continue on your legacy based upon how you showed up in life, how you did things in life, because they are always watching. So always do your best. Nobody's going to be perfect out there. We're all learning in this game of life. It's not an easy chore out there to be a father. But it's well worth it. So I hope you guys are having a blessed and fantastic father as you went out there and celebrated being a dad. I hope all of you guys that have fathers went out there and celebrated them. Regardless of your, like we talked about in our meditation today, 14 weeks in a row. We've been showing up on the 333 meditation we talked about. It says, whether your father was a good father or a bad father, he's the one that gave you life. He did the best with what he knew. And nobody's perfect. And as we get older in life, we understand this a little bit better. But when we were younger, we kind of held those grudges. Know that most of them did the best with what they can do. So I hope you guys had a great Father's Day. Keep showing up. They have not seen nothing yet. And when it's all said and done together, we will rise as one. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a